Hello, my fans. Welcome back to our continued Let's Play Undertale for the PC. My name is Flies Burr. This is your Stormy's Gaming Channel, and today... Today we continue our Let's Explore series here, as we try to unravel more secrets in this game. Uh, what I want to focus on today is the ruins, particularly the naming conventions this game, as well as hard mode. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and do this, my friends. Hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. In total, there's about 26 different things that you could input into the name. And the first one is just absolutely nothing at all. And what happens is, I guess, nothing? Yeah, I guess it's just nothing. So, <laughs> I guess maybe it's 25? Uh, and what we want to do is, we want to try to... Can I use a keyboard for this? No, of course not. I want to make it easier. But what we're going to do is we are going to input in all of the character names as well as some other things. So, Alphys. Don't do that. <laughs> I love how it's Alphys telling us that as well. Uh, and now we have Mr. King. Ah. Dreamer. Which we got Asgore. Uh, you cannot. <laughs> my good buddy, Asriel. All the dots. Yes! Oh, my favorite name of all time. All the dots. This is just... Oh, this is off to a great start already. The other form of... Asriel. Mr. Flowey. I already chose that name! <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great. A good buddy, Sans? Hey, nope. <laughs> Just simple nope. Our dear friend, Toyo. I think you should think of your own name, my child. Aww, that's so sweet. Undyne! Get your own name! <laughs> I just, I just love how they took the time to actually keep this, uh, to add this as a name checker. It's just, it's just great. So for these next ones, you can, some of them you can put uh, multiple different versions. And they will actually let you confirm it, but they do give you a hidden message. So if you put mercy or murder, we get, that's a little on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> And just to verify that that is indeed true, we'll go ahead and add murder here as well. Just to see. Yep, it's the same one either way. So a couple of these are interchangeable. You gotta love this speedrun name here of Ah! Although technically, I guess it's a speedrun. You just put A and done, right? I, I haven't really seen speedruns, so I'm not sure, but not very creative. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't think so, but if you just write A, no, they don't give you a message for just A. It would have been cool if it said, you must be a speedrunner. Ah, that would have been neat, but unfortunately not. We got the strong man, Aaron. Is this name correct? With a winky face? <laughs> Strangely enough, there's an Alfie. Not an Alfie, it's just an Alfie. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I mean, why? Why is this a thing? Why did they just have Alfie as one of the hidden messages? Oh, they thought of almost everything in this game, or maybe everything. I just can't think of all the things that I haven't thought of yet. The next two are our good shopkeepers, Caddy and Braddy. Caddy? Braddy! Braddy! That's my name! <laughs> I can only imagine the other one's going to say, Caddy, Caddy, that's my name! We'll see. Braddy. Like, okay, I guess. Aww. Aww. Uh, I, I was, I was kind of hoping they would mirror each other, but it's nice to see they both have their own personalities. The great powerful bee pants. You are really skipping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the Colin Mockery poem, Whose Lines Anyway. Someone get me my brown bits. The canon default name, apparently, for our character, Chara, which stands for character. The true name. Okay, so the game 
basically confirms that, yeah, that is indeed the canon name. I didn't know they would actually do it, but apparently it's a thing. Garrison. Wahaha! Why not? Why not indeed? <laughs> and we got the most despicable monster in all the land. It's Jerry! Just Jerry. <laughs> It's just Jerry. <laughs> with Metaton, we can go with Meta, Met, or MTT. I like MTT because, you know, that's like his brand name. Oh, are you promoting my brand? Absolutely, I'll promote your brand, my friend. Ah, oh, I like Metaton. I mean, except for the part where he tried to kill me multiple times. You know, it overall wasn't, wasn't that bad of a, uh, of a, um, of a friend? Sure. I mean, Alphys loved him. And Alphys is cool. So if Alphys loves him, then I'm sure he must be cool, right? A good friend naps the Blook. Or you could just put in Blooky. Oh, the dots. They're powerless to stop you. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I see this as a full confirmation, don't you? Naps the Blook is yeah, yeah. Yeah, go for it. I, I gladly let you use my name. Or maybe he's thinking, um, it's kind of pointless to argue. Uh, I can't stop you anyway. Maybe. Now, something interesting is that you can only have six characters in a name. And I misspelled this name. That's why it probably doesn't look right. But you can only have 60 characters in a name. So, Papyrus, you can't actually write Papyrus. As you see here, the last letter gets overwritten. But you can just write Papyru. I'll allow it! <laughs> oh, I love this guy, he's so awesome. Ah, uh, Papyrus is definitely my number one, uh, Skelebo. Absolutely, he's, he's, he's the greatest. Shiren? Oh, the questionable Dawes. <laughs> Aw, poor guy. Or gal. Or monster. Whatever. It's, it's, it's so sad. Aw. We got the power of Tem! Hoi! <laughs> Hoi, Tem! How you doing? Aw, uh, you know what's interesting? I think in the uh, the last video, the one with Glide, I, that's the first time we ever used the uh, Temmy armor. Yeah, we uh we got through the True Passage route and the Genocide route without ever using it. It's amazing, by the way. A good buddy, Washua. Clean name, yeah, it is a very clean name. I like it. I like Washer as a name. What the heck? Hey, what just happened? I put in Gaster and the whole thing just glitched out and the game restarted? What? Uh, I, I don't, I don't have, I mean, I'm letting this play out because I'm trying to see if anything new happens, but that is, that was really strange. So it looked the, looks the same still, right? By the way, since we're showing the intro scene here, a uh, question for everyone, is that Chara or is that Flight or Frisk, I guess you would say? Like, which character is this in the intro? Because you could make an argument, it's, it could be either one, right? Because we both lined up in a, uh, on Yellow Flowers. That was strange. How, I, I'm gonna try it again. Is it gonna do it again? Cause that was really weird. R. Yeah, it, it just resets. It's like, no, you cannot do that. We, we, will, we won't even allow you to do that. That is so strange. I, and I was told that there is something more about <laughs> Warning, this time will make your life hell proceed anyway. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that, that I was, I was expecting that, but I was told that there's more to this gaster than I know, and I don't know right now. So I, I am interested to to see, know what's going on. I should probably read this. Hmm. I uh, I'm Flowey. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very accumulation of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. Hey buddy, you missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets! I will actually get hit this time. Oh, the friendliness pellets. He changed it to friendliness pellets. <laughs> oh, we got no stuff before. You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? And yes, I do know there's uh, some extra stuff if we restart the game here and restart over. I may do that at the end of this video, or I may make that a separate video. I haven't decided yet. What a terrible creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toyo, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone's fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Now, I was told that the best thing we can do is play this out fully because some things might be different. So welcome to your new home, Innocent One. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to room, room, move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the side of them. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. And it seems that the layman has worn away. Oh dear. This might be far more challenging than I anticipated. Oh look! The labels are gone, aren't they? I believe it was the switch on the left. Well, left is always right. Seems that's not the correct switch. Splendid. I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. All right, so we already see a difference here. That's cool. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You know what I've never done so far? I've never done this. Oh, it does. <laughs> it's not letting me run away. Okay, I, like I said, I've never done that before. All right, let's see here. Uh, check. Uh, zero, zero, a kind of heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Talk or kill? Talk or kill? Talk or kill? Uh, I mean, we are a frisk, right? Right? Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you could solve it. Pocket attacks you. All right, let's see here. <laughs> oh, 
Aww. Look at her, look at her beady eyes. It's unfortunate I didn't get the kill there, though. Can I, can I respawn that? I don't know if you can. Yeah, I don't think you can. If I may have hit a critical there, I probably could have done it. This is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Aw, oh, they're not gonna let me do this on my own. I love that animation, by the way. It's so adorable. Where they're holding his hand, or her hand, or their hand, or whatever pronoun you want to use. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Do. I wonder if we're actually gonna get into fights in this now. Probably not. It's just a walking simulator, right? The music is very rad. I will say that. I, I wish I could like chomp things down. So like old school Zelda. Man, I haven't played a Zelda game in a long time. I know there was the uh, the new Breath of the Wild uh, release coming out, and I haven't even played the new Breath of the Wild or the old one. I haven't played like any Zelda games since since uh, the the Super Nintendo game. What was that uh, Link to the Past? Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence, I must attend to some business and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need of anything, just call. Be good, alright? This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mom? Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. You know, that's that's like very horrible for this bird. All the dots, huh? Oh, huh, ah, 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 ah. How adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You could certainly find better than an old woman like me. This is Toriel. You want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I am just a silly little lady who worries too much. This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? All right, let's uh, put a save here. Ribbit, ribbit, excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. The monsters in this world are very dangerous and aggressive. In this place, running away will not work on the first turn. It may be better to try another option, ribbit. Has that always been a thing? I don't know, it's, I, I just feel like I haven't um run away enough. Ah, I should have read that. Oh, I sh Part of me wants to reload the save just so I could uh, read that. Yeah, let me do that. I'll be right back. Again, in the, the hard mode, things may be different. So I, I want to make sure I'm not blitzing through things. All right, you took a piece of candy? You took more candy. How disgusting. In this hellish world, you can only take three pieces of candy. Aww. Although I would expect, like, on hard mode that you can only take one piece of candy. Not three. All right, that's the same as well. Do I want to go full genocide here and kill every that doesn't? Oh my god, I just realized what I'm fighting. I'm fighting an anti-stigmatism and a final foggit. Yes, I am. Oh my god. Uh, oh man. That is cool. The music is amazing though. How much damage am I gonna even do to this thing? Nah, that's not bad. Oh wow, five points of damage. Okay, so even though they're in their final forms, uh, they don't have super duper HP here. 
Okay, yeah, that that's that's a lot of HP. Never mind. Wow, six points of damage. Yes, you've seen enough. That's it? Only 12 experience for all that? Man, I think you get more than that. Pitfall number one takes us just back here. Hello, this is Toya. For no reason in particular, would she prefer cinnamon or butterscotch? Left is always right. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your purpose is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? All right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. But I like butterscotch. Butterscotch is great. Three out of the four great rocks, so I recommend you push them. This music is amazing. The music of the entire game has been amazing. Oh, uh, this is, uh, that's a little bit tricky. Ooh, that was close. Da, 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 da. Ah, this music is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. How did I avoid that? All the dots, indeed. Hmm, <laughs> this music is amazing. Ah, I can't believe I got hit there. Alright, I definitely want to fall here to see if there's anything underneath. Um, no, there isn't. There's no seven leaves. Yeah, there's nothing over here that's different. Just one of the things I want to make sure I explore. If I remember correctly, you go over to here. Wow, I should know some Moldesas? What are these things? I don't think I've ever seen these before. Curse, slime sounds. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's see if I rearranges itself. Let's see if I can try to immerse this one. I'll lie down. You lie down and rest. Well, that's the texture with a blanket of moss. Oh, it's so adorable. Yeah, it's still trying to kill me. Well, this face rearranges itself. Uh, fix. You adjust with this face. It seems to be happy with its new look. Well, this face looks happy. Oh, we can uh, immerse it now. You're encouraged to try a new look. His face shifts. Curr. Oh, this face looks happy. All right, now we can mercy it. Nope, not. Nah. Curr. This is the evil flightless bird. Embrace the ruthlessness, my friends. Uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea to use one of those. I think it was over two, and then over here, and all the way over. And it's just the bottom one. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Should probably just move these over too, just because. Check out some more desses. Sign sounds. I hate it when they explode. I felt like I was trapped in the corner there. Wow, 44 damage. It's like, oh man, that's so hard when they explode. Hey, yeah, see, when they don't explode, it's not too bad. But when they explode, it's a lot harder to dodge. Okay, let's go ahead and just push these over just because we can. Hmm, you want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? <laughs> that was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Now stay there. Was that helpful? No! Mm, you want me to stay there? You give me a real workout. 
All right, thank you. Can you believe it? Yeah, I know. That's that's a whims a lot. Skip, jump. Oh, oh, oh! Almost forgot about this. The battlefield is filled with the smell of mustard seed. I just thought he's got like a face, like on the bottom of his uh picture there. I really need a save point or I'm gonna have to heal. Ah, okay. Now that mouse went one day loose, so I'll get the cheese. Fills with determination. Cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z. I'll laugh at Bailey pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Absolutely. Here comes Naps to Blook. Same as usual. There was no damage. No, I mean there was no there was damage, but there was no damage sound effect is what I meant. I don't think we've ever actually uh killed that look. Just plugging along. <laughs> I'm filling up to right now, sorry. I love Napsta Look. Napsta Look is so cool. It's wishing they weren't here. I'm fine, thanks. Aw, this, this actually makes me kinda sad to hurt Napsta Look. Also looks a cool character. But since we've never done it before, um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? <laughs> With soda and corporal and all, I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> Sorry, I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Oh. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> what if you beat Naps the book and you lose an experience point and you go to Sans at the end of the game with minus one experience points? What happens at that point? Like, can you get a negative one experience? I'm sure there's someone who's tried that before. Let me know in the comment section below. Spider Big Sale. Uh, yeah, absolutely want to uh, probably buy something here. We'll go ahead and buy two. So that's why I just call down and give you a jug. I mean, we that was exactly enough money to buy two of these. Heals 24 HP, made with whole spiders, not just with juice. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders. Oh, spiders. Okay. I heard using F4 can make it full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Four fogs? I only say max with three fogs in this room. This is troubling to say the least. Ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now, Monster wears a yellow name when he can spare it. What do you think of it? I think it's bad. Really? Now I'll tell all my friends to tell their friends' friends. Never use yellow names. How about that? Uh, no more yellow names. Okay, I will let them know not to use yellow names. That's the first time we've ever done that. Hello, I have a question. You like things other than butterscotch or cinnamon too? Do you not? Oh, what am I asking? I will keep looking. Uh, it's just one switch. The veggies. Pars, oh my God, it's a Medusa. Uh, devour. Try to eat the parsnip, but it wasn't weakened enough. Yes! Oh my god! Alright, well, let's, uh. I should have seen that message. Uh... Parsnip saying shift to change hairstyles. Mohawk, ponytail, undercut. Alright, I don't want to kill this, so I just want to hit it lightly. That'll do. Cause I want to try devouring it. 
snakes are wilting. You start eating snakes like they're spaghetti. Hey, you're going 5 HP! And you won! Does that count as a mercy or a, uh... Or as a, uh... Or as a kill? It's kind of weird for us to eat snakes. Kind of faded ribbon. Let's go ahead and equip that. This hard mode, hard mode has been... Uh, extreme. Which is good. And I love the differences. So cool how many secrets are in this game. Alright, we need to go to the bottom right one. Wow, we got into a combat just at the top. Parsecs hissed out of the earth. Hiss. Oh, that was a really good spot we were in there. Oh, oh my gosh. What is this? Oh, that's so adorable. And they hurt too. Really hard to dodge. Completely closes his mouth. It looks short and weird. Let's go ahead and eat it. Is there any snakes? Ah, uh, papyrus would be here. Oh, look at their eyes. I never noticed that. Oh, poor guys. Hurst. <laughs> oh, instead of his. Oh, I thought he dodged that. Snakes play with a beach ball. Oh, the snakes are adorable. Don't be rude. <laughs> These snakes are really hard to dodge. Uh, let's see. Uh, snack. Misuse you and fires a series of tasty snakes. Eat your green tasty snakes. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's it. Just one. Has a hissy fit. We do like. Don't be rude. Okay. Shift to change hairstyles. Oh, the eyes are so adorable. Eat your green snakes. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, I saw green snakes, you liar. Hey, experience of three gold. I wanna go down this one to get the other uh veggie. Slither it out of the earth. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go for the uh, the full genocide kill right here. I don't think there is a... Uh, I don't think there's necessarily a reason to. But we'll just kill things as we go. No, they haven't. Far door is not an exit. Somebody marks the rotation in its perspective. <laughs> If you can read this, press the blue switch. And that's this one. Okay, so that hasn't changed. If you can read this, press the red switch. If you can read this, press the green. Green one's here, right? Can't believe I remember this stuff. What can I say? The game sticks with me after a while. Wait, there's a weapon here. Found a toy knife. So we can't use a bandage as like a literal bandage, can we? Yeah, you can, how about that? Still kinda gooey, you recover 10 HP? Oh, that's a neat little thing. Oh dear, it took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. See my game right here. See such a cute, tidy house of wounds gives you determination. Do you smell that? Er, uh, I assume that expression means you do. It's a surprise. I have baked a snail pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Why is first face to the right and just not listening? So I, here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own, I hope you like it. 
Aww. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Rather slice the snail pie. Wait, snail pie? How did my butterscotch pie? You know, some HP and acquired taste. Where's my butterscotch pie? Dang it. A box of kids shoes in disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Didn't mean to go to bed again. Let's just try and look around. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. It's Soriel's diary. Why did Skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bumbly. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pots. No more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sudere of plants. Am I saying the right sudere? Sudere? Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some bucket crayons. It's you. Oh, it's a water sausage. Make sure we explore as much as possible. It's kind of weird to have a snail pie, though. It's so weird. Where's my good pie at? The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier, fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps it isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I take it? Why can't I take it? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters or gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toyo must use fire magic instead. Hello! You want to hear about the book you're reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Okay. I had to s do something to stay here. Music's so pretty. Now, as soon as I say that, it changes. Of course. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Huh? You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I wish she gets like a super boss form. That would be cool. No, it's just Toriel. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Toriel takes a deep breath. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this pie. Wait, where's the pie at? There it is. You ate this snail pie. HP was maxed out. No, it wasn't. Our HP is not maxed out, game. I wonder if I could try to die. Too much for you. Where's the magical attack? 
Knows best for you. Ah, darn it, I can't. Yeah, it's not gonna let me die. Ah. You threw this stick away, then I then picked it back up. Yeah, I can't. I can't get hit anymore. I'm sorry. Toriel, I'm sorry. I gotta embrace. I gotta embrace the playthrough. Oh, that's a nice crit. I'm sorry, Toriel. Did on the genocide route we like killed him one hit? I do think uh you get like a massive damage bonus um when she gets closer. So probably next hit. Toyo looks through you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Toyo. Ark, you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. <sighs> Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you, my child? No. No. Wait, what the heck? And that's the end of hard mode. What the heck? Look at Toriel's face. Eh? You are ending it now? And that's such a dramatic moment? Yeah, what's going on? Well, that's the difficult part. Not the bullets, but accepting that it's all over. But there will be more, will there not? Maybe. No one the answer is hard. Ha ha ha. God, the annoying dog is still annoying. Hey, aren't you supposed to be dying or something? Well, what is the point of that now? Well, what will you do instead? Hmm. Perhaps I'll bake another pie. That last one ended up a little burnt. I thought it was good. Theoretically. It's not like I ate it all while you were fighting. <laughs> hey, can I have some pie? You are just going to eat it all. I can help. Snowing on the floor is not help. <laughs> I'm not snowing, I'm cheering you on in my sleep. All the dots. Oh, you're still here? Don't you have anything better to do? <laughs> oh, there's that line again. Oh my god, I was not that that was so unexpected. Undertale. Hard mode coming. Maybe. <laughs> eh, don't count on it. Oh, that was amazing. That was so amazing. Oh, man. Oh, just... This game... This game keeps blowing me away. All the time. Just without fail. It just continues. Hey, it's Flowey! Hey! Uh, what's the hold up? Shouldn't she be dead by now? I've been waiting in that room for... Uh, hard mode? Gee, you better take a picture. People are gonna think you're really cool. Not! Golly! Talk about a try hard! Pa! Ta! Dick! <laughs> Uh, so, uh, are you gonna keep going, or it's over? <laughs> I knew that! Why does everyone have to be so condescending? Uh, so, what's your excuse, sitting around here? 
Don't you have anything better to? I already said that. <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> oh. oh, this game. This game is just so amazing. It, it's so amazing. It's so beautiful. Okay, so I think what I am going to do is I'm going to test out some of the other stuff. Uh, because there's some things we can do if we uh, kill and then reset. So, let's do that. So there's a couple of dialogues early in the uh, ruins. Well, early in the game, in the ruins. Uh, with Flowey and Toriel. So what we want to do is we want to talk to Flowey, have the battle start, and exit out of the game and talk to him again. Uh, which means we have to begin the game anew. And then uh, we want to get to Toriel. Talk to, uh, talk to Toriel, kill her. And then uh, talk to Flowey. And after that, talking to Flowey, restart, uh, restart from the previous save. Fight Toriel, spare her, and then talk to Flowey again. And that will complete all the hidden stuff in the ruins. Howdy! Okay, so this is going to be the same uh, as we've seen before. So we want to get into a fight. And then I guess here we quit out. And then we, uh, actually we probably should start the fight. And then we'll quit out. So, let him shoot the bullets. And then we'll exit as soon as uh, they come our direction. So when I boot up Undertale, everything is the same. It, it There's no save data. There's no nothing. It, it's the same screen when you first start the game and ask it for your fallen name, human. Uh, everything is exactly the same. Although we know the game remembers. Right? So let's talk to Flowey again. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hee hee hee. Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. I guess little me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Why'd you... Uh, yes, yeah, so the game does remember everything that you do, which is, which just makes me smile every single time. Uh, it, it's just great. I want to check this one again. Run into the bullets. And then when you move, it just bullets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I do know what's going on here. Okay, so I'm gonna go through and, uh, yes. Uh, no, I don't want to watch you suffer. I like you, Flowey. But we're gonna go through here and we're gonna get to, uh, the end where Toya is and check out her scene. And Toriel is down once again, which makes me sad. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like killing Toriel. She's so sweet. And it, it just... It's painful. It really is. It's just painful to watch her die. Such a... Such a precious... Soul. Just absolutely... It's just so beautiful. I'm wishing us to be good, even though we just killed her. And also probably heartbroken... Because she's probably thinking about Asriel, you know, when she sees us. The fact of heartbreaks breaks my heart as well. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, Toriel. Now, let's go talk to the evil flower. And then what we'll do is, uh, out to the conversation, we exit out. And uh, this time we don't get to kill Toriel, which is great. And I'm happy for that. We gotta end on the, uh... Much more happy note, at least. <laughs> I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. 
She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it, <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. <laughs> so creepy. And away goes the flower. All right, well, let's do this again. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Like you have seen a ghost? Do you know something that I do not? No, that is impossible. Ah. So it's so sad, so we could. You know, it's, it's like she knows. You thought about telling Toyo that you saw her die, but that's creepy. Can you show mercy without fighting or running away? Man, that is just... Like I said, the way this game just works is ridiculous. And ridiculous in a good way. Can you show mercy without running away? And I tested this, like, try to die here. But I can't, because watch. You get hit once, and... And the game, you see, the game stops at two, so you can no longer, you can't get any lower than two. All right, so now we just need a spare non-stop, right? Okay, so I'm gonna throw in a bunch of spares, and I have no idea how long these take, but we'll be back. I know you want to go home, but but please go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. Oh, look at that smile. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. Uh -huh. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even, I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to go up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Goodbye, my child. I love Toyo. It's just so, so precious. Oh man, I still can't believe on our first run. Yeah, that first run was tough. Really was. Clever! Very clever! <laughs> Look at that smug <laughs> You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules? You spare the life of a single person. <laughs> but don't act so cocky. I know what you did. You murdered her. And then you went back because you regretted it. <laughs> you naive idiot. Do you think you are the only one with that power? The power to reshape the world purely by your own determination. The ability to play God. The ability to save. I thought I was the only one with that power, but I can't save anymore. Apparently, your desires for this world override mine. Well, well, enjoy that power while you can. I'll be watching. Oh my God, that is, well, that is creepy as can be. Yeah, I, I will say that is, Super creepy, but here, here's the uh, here's the interesting thing. 
Oh, I just realized probably why. I was going to say uh, our determination overrides his. So therefore, he shouldn't be able to save state us at the end of the game. But that's after he gains all the other six souls, right? So at that point, his power does become greater. Very interesting. I like it a lot. I, I really do. This, this game just keeps blowing me away. All right, my friends. Well, my name is Flyers Bird. This is your Stormy Skip channel. And this is our continued Let's Play Undertale for the PC. We have more still to come. There's a couple other things that we need to explore, such as, uh, I believe, the joke numbers they're called, as well as some of the secrets, uh, the doors. Uh, for example, there's one door that you can only open if you manage to dodge all the credits. And thanks to Ito Zero, who has just been amazing, and I, I, can't, I can't thank you enough, my friend, for all your help with this. But uh, he has a save file for me that I can use to basically make it so that, you know, the game thinks I did dodge all the things, even though I didn't. Because, yeah, that would be that would be really intense to be able to do. Uh, just imagine that, though, because you can't even practice it. You have to be able to. You have to beat the game every time in order to get to the credits. Yeah, that, that, that's really difficult to do. But yeah, so we'll see that. Uh, we'll see what's behind some of the secret doors that are locked. And uh, we're going to have some more fun with this game before we uh, say a sad farewell. If you are wondering, I have been asked to play Deltarune, which is also made by Toby Fox. But I'm going to wait until at least the next parts get released. When I was playing Your Turn to Die, I've been waiting to finish that game for like two years now. And I, I, I kind of don't want to have to wait like two years to finish Deltarune. So I, I'm going to put a pause on that until more come out. But that is definitely something I do have on my list. Don't worry. We will get there eventually. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastically awesome day. Thank you for everything. And I will see you again very soon. Until then, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.